This is video log 4. Today I will be indirectly measuring this pole using the mirror method. I will be standing right here and I'll have a mirror placed right here. I will be creating two similar triangles to indirectly measure this pole. What could go wrong you may ask? Well, the ground is not a parallel surface, well not a perpendicular surface to this pole or me, so that will create two unsimilar triangles. Uh, let's see what else. The sun changes position, so by me standing right here and looking into the mirror and reflecting up to there, that will not remain constant. We got constant angles, and uh, that's about it. Hello, court. I'm Galileo Galilee, and I have been wrongly convicted, and I'm now placed under house arrest. I was convicted for my unorthodox ways of thinking, and I am here today to prove that I am innocent. I was wrongly convicted because I had thought to myself that how come I can't, how come I have to climb all the way up this pole to measure how tall it is when I can actually use some properties of light and mathematical theorems to prove that this is just as tall as I actually measured it to be. Now, how am I doing this, you may be wondering. This was a pretty difficult task, but using a mirror which refracts light at the exact angle as which the light entered from my eye, as you can see right here, see, see, it creates two perfectly, perfectly congruent angles right here. And the object that I'm measuring right here, this here uh, baseball pole, is perpendicular to the ground. That creates a 90 degree angle. That is half of 180 degrees, FYI. My partner, Conrado Esteban, Hello. he was standing at a 90 degree angle, which is also half of 180 degrees, FYI. So, using the congruent triangles theorem of angle, 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 I have proved that this angle plus this angle and that angle equal this angle, this angle, and this angle. And that is because all of the angles in the triangle add up to 180 degrees. And because of that, this plus this subtracted from 180 degrees is angle P E X right there. The same as this side where angle X plus angle B equals this angle right here. These angles being the same prove that these triangles are similar. But now what am I going to do with that you may ask? Well, using these proportions that me and my lab partner have figured out, we have calculated that allow me to demonstrate. The proportion of 94 centimeters to 300 centimeters right here equals 186 centimeters. Felix, uh, no, Conrado. Hello. His, his height is the exact same as this height because of similar triangles. So using the proportion that we set up, and using my new method of cross multiplication, we have devised and we have proved that angle, well not, pardon me, angle side A is 593 centimeters tall. That's pretty damn close to 590 centimeters tall. And if I do say so myself, we deserve to be let out of prison. Thank you. Hello.